Hello, Sagittarius and Sagittarius Rising people. Sandra from For Your Chi here today to do your June 2023 reading. Thanks for being here with me. First six houses here on YouTube. Remainders in the link below. Okay, let's see what we've got in store for the Sages in June. Positive movement forward. You are feeling extra super creative at the beginning of June and you're you know maybe you're doing crafty things um however it's more time to take stock of these creative ideas especially if you're getting ideas write them all down it is not time to go with all of them or any particular one because we're getting a no put the brakes on it so that doesn't mean reject the ideas you're still going to record them it just means don't run with it right now okay something about divine timing there you can use your ideas later for sure second house your stuff your money sacrifice sacrifice says that you're working very hard and yet for some reason you feel a little reward for it now you know, this could be because, yeah, you're, you're making money, you're making good money, but it could be that a lot of it is going out for different reasons, different reasons. And listen, if that's the case, join the club. This is the world that we're living in, the reality we're living in right now. You are being told to listen to your intuition here with regard, regarding your money, your finances, your stuff, okay? It could be time to, and I've said this quite a bit, especially in the weekly readings, could be time to move some of your money around or your investments, or it could be time to sell some things that you no longer use. Okay? Your third house, brother, sister, anyone that you would consider brother, sister, it's time for them to pause. Pause. This is my pause card, patience in planning. It's not time for them to make any major moves at this time. They need more information. Very plain and simple and to the point here. Your fourth house, your house of home where you currently live. For those of you that this is not talking about your home, this could be talking about your father or father energy because for me as a reader, sometimes the dad or dad figure shows up in the fourth house. Memory, memories of love. You nostalgic of reminiscent of times past. Now it's interesting that you should pull this in your fourth house. Um, some of you may be thinking about the home that you grew up in, or your father may be going down memories lane here. You could also have a re uh, relative visitor visit you in your home who, whom you've known since you were a child or since you were younger. It could be you know, grandma, grandpa, someone who used to babysit you, an old neighbor, perhaps you have helpful people around you or your father or father figure has helpful people around him. So that's spectacular. Fifth house is social life, social circle, friendships, dating for those of you who are single Sages. Victory and success, so there's something that you've wanted here that is being accomplished or celebration of accomplishments. Um, in your friendships, friendship circles, dating life, definitely a green light card to say yes to any social invitation you get right now. You will um, not only enjoy yourself, but as usual, you will be the Sagittarius light and life of the party. Um, within the next few weeks. Okay, so this could go on this type of energy um, into July. So it could be true for you in June and July. We'll just have to see what card shows up in your fifth house um, for July. Now, this is interesting. Now, now, here's where it starts to get really interesting. The 6th, 7th, 8th. 7th and 8th are going to be in the extended. Major stuff going on. But your sixth house, remember, rules work and health. Love begins. This is the ace of cups in traditional tarot. Your cup overrunneth. Now, you're, you know, you could be feeling better than you have in many moons, which is great. 
But there is a slight warning in this sixth house, unfortunately, because you pulled no. But because this talks about work specifically and health, I would be cautious about saying yes to any new opportunity that appears to you out of the blue in June. If you can put it off, the decision, I would do that because there, there's another put on the brakes card here for you. So when I first saw this, it appeared to me as if someone was saying to you through work, oh, we've created this new position for you, Sag, and, um, you know, it's brand new and it's going to be great. You know, it's going to be much better than what, where you are. And it's, they don't really know that they're just pulling fantasies out of their ass because they want you in the position for some reason. But when you get there, it's not all shiny gold and silver and diamonds. So uh, just watch out for that. Also, watch out for any new, like, health routine, health regimen, any new medications. Make sure you're reading the fine print on all of the possible side effects because of this. Hold up. Make sure you're understanding what are the possibilities here before you accept this, whatever this is, okay? All right, now, before we go into the extended reading in your seventh house of primary relationships, we're going to be looking at your tarot cards of who's around you in your seventh house. We have this star card and Aquarius again. Can't get rid of this Aquarius for some reason. We have the world, unfortunately. All 12 zodiacs are on the table. The world has all four elements in her card here. You have the four of cups, traditional Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces that the Sag usually pulls in these readings. Okay, so if you'd like to follow me in the, in the extended uh, description box, link is below. We're going to be going over your seventh house of primary relationships, including romance, angel cards, in depth. Your eighth house of intimacy, taxes, contracts, legal matters, the source of your significant other's income, if that applies to you. Your ninth house of school and travel, your tenth house of career and your mother, your eleventh house of your child or your best friend, and the twelfth house, which is what's about to happen three months from now in September. Many blessings to you, Sag. Take care.